Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com. In this video, we will be working with lists and subscribers in our new live campaign module. So let's get started. After you have the module on the page, you would want to make sure that it's configured and uh, set up. You can refer to our getting started video to do that. Now, after you have done that, you want to go ahead and create a bunch of different lists so your, your end users, the subscribers, can subscribe to them and receive new emails from you. So let's get started. We're going to go ahead and click on list and subscribers. And as you can, as you can see, there's no subscriber list yet. I'm going to go ahead and click on create a new list. And in this list, let's say I want a list for a monthly newsletter that we're going to send out. So anyone who wants to receive a monthly newsletter from us can go ahead and subscribe to this one. So uh, description could be uh, stay connected with us through our monthly news letter okay now list type by default you want to keep your list types public which means the the users on your website so visitors can see the list subscribe to it unsubscribe to it and so forth but sometimes you want to create a list which is internal for example your employees only or uh, you have a list for a uh, dedicated purpose and you don't want it to be visible on the site to anyone else if that's the case you would go ahead and choose that uh, the type to private so end users will never see the list I'm gonna keep this public and go ahead and click on create list so the next thing is asking me now that you have a list let's add some subscribers to it some email addresses now there's two ways to do that one is manually where I can just copy and paste a bunch of email addresses here and here's the some of the formats I can also include the first and last name of the of the email address a user along with their email address or I can go ahead and just upload a CSV file so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first I'm gonna click add files and I have a I have a CSV file here called mock data uh, I just created some random test data to demonstrate this and I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you I have this file right here mock data and here's the Excel file and it has about 10,000 records in it so let's go ahead and, and import this in I have the first name last name email city and state and country of the users so I'm gonna go ahead and select this file and basically life has been saying that I am only interested in three fields first name last name and email so could you please tell me which columns they their appearance so I'm gonna go ahead and say first name appears in first name last name appears in last name and email appears in email and then basically ignore city state and country I'm gonna go ahead and click preview and make sure that my data is mapped correctly and as I can see that first name last name and emails look good and this point I'm gonna go ahead and click import data and it will take just a few seconds and live campaign will go ahead and import all those for me and there you go it imported 9996 email addresses now why did it do 9996 and not all 10,000 well there could be duplicate email addresses there could be email addresses that are not valid email addresses so it go, goes ahead and does validation and then brings them in so there we go we have created a list and we've added some subscribers to it so I can go ahead and do that for other lists as well but instead I'm gonna go ahead and click on this list and show you that I can go ahead and add subscribers down the road by just clicking this button going back to the screen I can keep continuing loading more CSV files or adding them manually for example like this or I can say deep saying deepsetme.com and hit create subscribers so I just added two more now if you can see it only added one not two because those two email addresses that I typed were identical so there's no need to keep both we just kept one of them now let's say if I were to go ahead and see all of them that you added are subscribed meaning they are subscribed to a list if you were to manually go ahead and remove someone from your list you can go ahead and search them and then just uncheck the subscribe option which you can do through edit and then hit uncheck and then hit save and that's it for managing you can go ahead and remove in the same way I strongly recommend to never ever remove an email address once you've added it in. If you don't want them to receive email address, just make sure they're not subscribed. Because by removing them, you create a loophole where 
you could reintroduce that email address later and the emails will start going again. It's better to just make sure that it's there and you, you choose unsubscribe option. Okay, so you have monthly newsletter and you have some subscribers. So that's, we've seen a couple ways to add subscriber. One is to import a CSV file, the other is to go ahead and manually add them. Now what if your users want to subscribe themselves uh, instead of you doing it? And I'll demonstrate that in a second as well. But before I do that, let's create another uh, list. Let's say promotions and deals. Uh, and be the first one to know when we have a sale. Okay, so let's go ahead and create this. And as you can, we're going to go ahead and add just one of the addresses to this list. Now, lists are separate entity so a same email address could be in multiple lists when you're going to actually send an email campaign you could choose multiple lists and the campaign will be smart enough to make sure that it's only sending one email uh, to that one email address and not multiple of them okay so I'm gonna get out of this and let's say we go to the home page and you want to add a subscribe now form or something here so let's go to add new module and we're going to grab the live campaign sign up module and let's add it here. Okay, so it says let's uh, go ahead and click on manage to configure this. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I have the option to ask the user for their first and last name, or I can leave that blank. And then once they click on sign up or join, which lists do you want me to subscribe them to so I would like to go ahead and subscribe to both now there's an option that we can do email verification if we choose this and the email they type to subscribe they will receive a email from live campaign that they must verify their email address they have to click on a link to confirm that they are the valid email address user and then they will be added in if, if you don't uncheck this then they will be added in right away this option right here is basically uh, gives the user the ability uh, whether they can choose which list they want to subscribe to. If I uncheck this, they wouldn't know which list they're getting subscribed to and they will auto automatically get subscribed to them. This is a header text that appears. For example, join our mailing list to always stay connected. This is the text that appears. Uh, and the button to join and this is the message after after they clicked on the join if you're using our one of our skins you will get a matching theme that you can apply as well so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save here and you can see live campaign sign up here appears and you see the two list and they can go ahead and choose which list they want to apply to uh, join giving me their first name a last name and email address and hit on join now it's it's really up to me how I want this to display. Let's say I don't want so much information. I don't want to see when I don't want them to see the list and hit save. Now it's simple. Give me an email address and hit join. If I do that, just tell me thank you. You've just signed up. You can change this message to say whatever you want. And that's really it. It's that simple to go ahead and have people uh, subscribe to your subscribers list. This is it for this short video. Uh, which shows you how to work with lists and subscribers. If you have any questions or concerns, please do let us know. Thank you so much for watching the video.